I'm going to talk a bit about assessing the quality of a resource in education. When you read a typical research article, when a statement is made, it is supposed to be backed up. And it is backed up usually by a last name like K and then comma 2012. And then that refers to an article or some resource in the reference section. You need to actually pay attention to the quality of that resource because K2012 could refer to a magazine or newspaper article, which isn't the most valid or reliable source, or it could refer to a peer-reviewed peer article, and that's considered the most reliable source. So you need to look at the sources a little bit more in detail. Let's go over some of these. There are no hard and fast rules here, so I'm just giving you a general idea of the quality associated with the following resources. They're pretty typical resources. Magazine and newspaper articles, as well as web-based articles, uh, not web-based peer-reviewed articles, but just web-based articles, they're considered the least reliable or valid sources. They are meant to sell articles, uh, sorry, sell magazines or newspapers or a particular product, and the people writing them are not researchers, so they're quoting from other sources, and they might pick quotes that are more sensational and not necessarily representative of, of the research in general. So those are the least reliable sources. They can come in handy when you're trying to establish a general problem in society like mathematics and education. You like to refer to that when you start your overview of the problem that you're trying to address with your project or thesis. Uh, however, when recording or uh, referencing hard uh, data or research, re research results, they're probably the least uh, reliable. And then you come across conference papers. Now it does depend on the conference and there are some conferences like AERA, which are very hard to uh, get uh, published in those that, or get accepted. However, Conference papers are usually incomplete work, not always, but they are often incomplete work. They're not fully referenced. They're not fully, the data isn't, isn't always collected. And so there's sometimes incomplete uh, papers or they're uh, trying to present new ideas up and coming projects, that sort of thing. So they're not that reliable and they're used a lot. So you have to be careful. So you look at the quality of the conference and most uh, uh, educational and technology conferences, well, good for meeting people and generating ideas, often don't present the top quality paper that would, you would see in a peer reviewed journal article. So be careful of that resource. Now, Reports, chapters, and books. Now, reports are down at four. Now, they could be higher. It just depends who asks for the report. If it's a government report, it might be reliable. If it's a report from a business, it sort of depends on the agenda. And there's also an agenda with a government as well. However, a good report can provide a very detailed uh, literature review and synopsis of a particular concept or problem, and so they can be very useful. It just depends on the, the actual person or organization completing the report and their particular goals. It's like looking at a website or any other resource. You have to sort of see what the intentions are and how objective the people are in doing it. If they're actual researchers writing the report, you could feel a little bit more confident. And again, when you take a look at the number of references in that report and how it's presented, you get an idea of how academic it is or, or whether it's more for a business intent, that kind of thing. So reports can be quite handy. Now chapters and books, I guess if they're, if they're academic books and chapters, you're in good shape. They're usually pretty good. How do you know they're academic? Because you look at the end of the chapter and you see the references. And if there's you know, 30, 40 references, you're, it's probably an academic chapter. It's not a book or a chap, uh, uh, you know, a, a 
best-selling book, <laughs> usually not with academic academia. It's one that's intended to, to present results of a particular area. So a chapter in an edited book or an edited book where the editors are uh, renowned or known researchers is a pretty good thing. And the nice thing about an edited book is you get a variety of people uh, not chirping in, but giving, giving their opinions and their research and their pr perspectives on a particular topic. So I quite like books and, and, and chapters, but it does depend on, on the nature of the book, whether it's um, the kind of publisher it is. And, and if you don't know publishers, you don't need to read, uh, you know, you don't quite know the, the, the extent of it. Like MIT Press, it's probably academic. But if, if you don't know some of the, the publishers, look at the end of the chapters in the book to see the list of references. In good edited books, you, you would see hundreds of references. So, so that's a pretty good sign. And then the final top quality resource is a peer-reviewed journal, journal article. And it does depend on the journal. Some journals are not that great. Uh, however... In general, peer-reviewed journal, journal articles have gone through a review where two or three people have looked at the article and assessed it, two or three supposed experts in the field, and they've given it the okay or they've rejected it. So there's quite a few articles rejected, and so there's a certain quality that goes into a journal article. How do you tell it's a journal article? Well, if I have the journal name, it will have an issue, a, a volume number and an issue number. You can always look it up if you're uh, curious, and you'll get a sense of journals uh, as you go through and look at your peer review or literature review because you'll start to read the articles. You'll get a sense of the journal, and that will take some time to know the journals. But once you do, you'll, you'll know the good ones and the ones that maybe are not as reliable. So that's a quick and dirty well, not so quick. It's seven minutes. That's not so quick. But that's an overview of the quality of resources.